Why is your personality on social media like so different than you want in real life? It's a great question. No, you know what? That is a phenomenal question. It's a great but question. here's what I'm starting to not realize. What do you mean by that? Like, what personality on social media? Like, what does he do on there that you think would make people upset? I think people think he's like super arrogant, like talking about shit. He plays a villain role when he's not a yeah, villain. Yeah. Like, why do you do that? Yeah. I had no choice. <laughs> the guy. You have a choice. He wants to be a villain. No, the villain. The villain life chose me. No, I, it's because the media painted a picture of me. No, but you're talking like a lot of like shit on on social media. Yeah, because that's my job. That like boxers talk shit to other boxers and say like okay, I'm gonna if win. If you say it, it's like pretty harsh. And maybe that's a boxing thing, but I will never say I'm gonna win. Because you don't have to sell pay per views. No, that's maybe true. But what do you? But what do you think the biggest difference is then? Like how how do I go online and be like, like people hey, will here's who I am. No, that's true. But like, people would never expect like how sweet you are actually, and also to your team and to your friends and to your family, and to your fans and to everyone here. And I don't know, they just don't know. It's crazy. I think Jake is a victim of his past when it comes to his social media stardom. Not, um, not a victim. I, I'm, a victim can also be a successful victim, right? He became who he is by being the guy that's in your face and not afraid to say what he's going to say. Yeah. And unfortunately, I don't think that, I, I, I'll say this right now. I've had to have the same conversation with a thousand people back in Chicago. Is Jake Paul really a prick? Yeah. And I'm like, no, he's actually a really nice it's guy. Crazy. And if you met him in person, you'd feel different about it. But it's hard, right? Because when, he can meet, you know, when you meet him in person, he's got Marcos, he's got, <laughs> he's got Brandon, he's got Gus, he's, you know, he's got backup. And he's never, like, you, when you get Jake at a house on Star Island, and it's, he's got his PJs on, and he's like real comfy and he's cozy. It's different Jake. It's like, you're a teddy bear, brother. You feel like, they're, they're, uh, <laughs> like if the boxers knew what a teddy bear he was, he might not get the fights that he needs. That's funny. No, that is, that is true. You do you feel like there's it. pros and cons to that? Or like, what's you, like, how do you weigh on that? I think it goes back to people just choose what they want to make of someone. And there's so many articles and headlines out there that go viral of me. And then people create this image in their head of, who they think I am, and it's just honestly too late at this point. Like, all these other clips could come out, and all these other things that I do could show, but this, like, certain image that they have of me has been going on. I've been in this shit for a decade, I realized this. Like, I woke up after I turned 26, and I was like, damn, I've been doing this for a fucking decade. Ten years, yeah. I am, I am a fucking old Bro's fucking getting hag. Old. Pushing 30. No, but, like, for, think about it, like, I think for I think also for like seven years of my career, I definitely was borderline like crazy and arrogant and a douchebag. So I think the seven years is what people are holding on to. Well, you wouldn't be who you are today without those seven years. Exactly. So I hate to say it. Sometimes you got to put that dog inside of you. And maybe I can't relate it to anything that you do in your Olympic trials or the, the races themselves. But if you don't have that fire inside you, you might not be as successful as you are today. And I think that's kind of like how his life has turned out. Yeah, no, I don't regret it at all, but. I'll be honest with you though. I think that's what kind of led you to boxing, truthfully. I think that all the boxers, to answer your question earlier, and I'm not a boxer, but one thing I do watch is boxing. And all those guys have a really, really, really strong stance on who they are. And they all expect to win. Because if you're going into a fight, how could you expect to lose? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but like insecurity can make you like super focused too because I drive like I drive from insecurity so like the insecurities make me like really focused and really sharp and if I'm not insecure or like I'm not nervous or something I won't skate as fast so I think it actually helps me in my sport and in boxing they're all like super confident and they're saying like I'm gonna win I'm gonna win and the only thing you can still do is lose because people are expecting you to win I'm just more like, I like to surprise them that I'm winning and yay. <laughs> yeah. I, I probably wouldn't say that I'm gonna win if like I didn't have to sell hella pay-per-views. No, okay, yeah. Like okay. They, they stick us up on stage with microphones and say like, talk. talk. Yeah, no, so okay. it's, I get it. It's like, I think that's where it comes from, but there, there's definitely less respect in boxing for our opponents than in speed skating. I feel like speed skating is like an elegant sport. No, of course I want to win, but I can, 
if someone is better than me, then I just have to accept it and I have to train harder. At the moment, I am the best in a thousand, but not in the well, others. Since you're so interested in my fucking dating life, why don't we clear the elephant in the room? Are you guys dating or not? <laughs> Are we? Well, it's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure having you on the show today. Um, you think... want us to step off? Maybe Jasper can answer the question. <laughs> you want him to answer that question? Are you guys dating? We were. <laughs> and then he started talking to someone else in this room. Might be one of the deep dish pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> we're the deep dish pizzas now. That's what we're known as. Hey, one of the guys in the crowd. Have you ever had deep dish? Well, you're going to come up to Milwaukee with, with, uh, with the whole team. We'll go to the speed skating ring in Milwaukee and we're going to get deep dish pizza. Don't ever eat deep dish pizza. Is deep dish like it's, frozen pizza? Like it's, it's like pointless. No, it's no, like no, 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 no. Oh, thick. I saw it. No, I yeah. didn't eat it. Yeah. Where we're from, it's like where it originated and it's good. It's like not It's good. not like the white trash pizza in It's in like Miami. actually not, it's not good at all. Good. Okay. You're it's really like an good. advocate for deep dish pizza? I'm not like into it. Dish. So something I'm really excited about is, is supposedly, rumor has it, Jake Paul is going to be racing Ute at the ice ring. She's going to give him about racing? a. They're going to. She's going to give him about a forty-minute head start, and she still will beat him. But I'm excited to see I the results. Was... We are in ice hockey skates, and I did it once, so we're going to. There's no. Oh, you, wow. don't, you don't have your skates with you? Of course not. I'm on holiday. Like uh, I went on holiday, and I'm here. I need to like... start using that more because. I'm on holiday, vacation. sounds so much classier. Yeah. I sound vacation. so much trash. Sorry. I'm on vacation. No, holiday is good. I thought you were teaching me how to skate. I think I am, but I... Do you know how to skate? I think He's I can skate on yes. those. Oh, wow. You finally are honest. I no. don't know how to skate either. Don't no. I feel bad.